Another heat flow mechanism is through radiation. All objects radiate energy, and the amount of energy they radiate, so P is Q over T, is given by sigma A E T to the 4. P is in watts in this case. Sigma is a constant called Stefan's constant, so its value is here. A is the surface area of the body. E is an emissivity constant, which is different for different substances and is between 0 and 1. It refers to how well a body will absorb all the radiation that falls on it. A black body will perfectly absorb all radiation that falls on it, so it has an emissivity of 1. A mirror, which reflects almost all the energy which falls on it, has an emissivity much closer to 0. And then we've got our temperature in kelvins to the power of 4 here. It's very important that you do convert temperature to kelvins when using this, as it's not a change in temperature, it's an actual temperature. Now what's more interesting than just the amount of heat that the body is emitting is the net heat flow, because as a body sitting in its environment, it's absorbing energy from the surrounding environment as well as radiating it. So what we're interested in really is the change in energy of that body, so the net transfer of heat. So this is given by sigma A E T to the 4, this is the temperature of the body and this is the temperature of the surroundings. You're best off when you're answering questions like this to state whether this is a net flow into or out of the body. So if a body's hotter than its surroundings, it's going to be losing energy to its surroundings. If it's cooler than its surroundings, it's going to be absorbing energy from its surroundings. So questions that you can do to practice using this formula are homework set 5 for 1121 students, questions 3, 4, 5 and 6. For 1131 students, questions 4, 5, 6 and 7. Let's do a few examples now. A sphere of radius 0.5 meters, temperature 27 degrees C and emissivity 0.850 is located in an environment of temperature 77 degrees C. At what rate does the sphere A emit and B absorb thermal radiation? And C, what is the sphere's net rate of energy exchange? Okay, so for this question, we're going to assume that radiation dominates. We're not told anything about the conductivity of the environment, so let's just assume it's very low. Uh, 